Tonight, Providence's mayor says he's reviewing options to reduce in battle City Council President Luis Zapante's authority. Zapante has refused calls to step down despite a grand jury indictment. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live now with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with a story that's new at 6. Jared. Mike, the mayor telling us he has not spoken with Aponte, who is charged with crimes including embezzlement and misusing campaign funds. Providence City Council President Luis Aponte cheered by supporters, digging in and refusing to resign the top council post, saying to resign would be an admission to accuse campaign finance crimes. Tonight, a push to cut off Aponte's power is brewing. We're working through with the law department a way to make that happen. So President Aponte, as long as he remains in that position, will be president in name only, um, but we're gonna make sure that he doesn't have any authority or any power to actually make citywide decisions. The council has no formal mechanism to remove a president. 12 of 13 colleagues voted no confidence in Aponte this week. At the end of the day, majority rules. And, the major and he does not have the support of the majority of the council. We asked the mayor about Aponte's news conference and supporter shirts reading, it's a South Side thing you don't understand with Spanish underneath. What you saw on TV, you know, I don't know why they pulled that together. I don't know why he felt the need to make that happen, but that does not represent the whole of the South Side. Now, we asked if the mayor's involvement is potential executive meddling in legislative business, and the mayor's office in response said several council members reached out to the law department asking it to explore the options. Live at City Hall with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.